Baz, GQ, where's the bar? Boom! I don't know what I do with my hands. We're Eli and Rudy. You know us as Food Beast. Oh my god, the steak just melts. GQ sent us across the country to find the best cocktails, food, and bars around. You're watching Where's the Bar? What's up, dude? Where are we right now? We're in Seattle. This is Capitol Hill specifically. Nick is the bartender here at Bar Naka, and uh, I heard he has a dope drink for us, so we're gonna check it out. Let's go knock on the door. <laughs> it's a pull fire code. Yeah, make sure you pull. Nick, welcome. What's up, dude? It's so good. What's good? What's good? Uh, so Eli and Rudy. Well, welcome to Seattle. Here, it's the first time. I've never been here before. I, last time I was here, I, I don't remember, and I wasn't an adult, so it doesn't count, right? It totally counts. You're a baby. It's an impression on who you've come today. Holy sh! This guy. This is so deep, so <laughs> fast. I love it. This Capitol Hill, though, right? This is like yeah, Capitol Hill being the heart, the pulse of Seattle. It's uh, it's kind of hard to encapsulate into one word, right? So in the same moment, you can go to a, a riverbed or a forest. Same time, you go snowboarding. You go to the beach, and the weather is so as creative as we are. So it's schizophrenic right now, it's turning sunny. It's been dark yeah, all day, nice. it was raining last night, and it'll probably, I don't have a tornado tomorrow. <laughs> knock, <laughs> knock, knock on fruit. And we are, I think, just hitting the cusp of getting national recognition from almost every angle. So Seattle is very small, like a fishing town, right? Compared to New York, yeah. San Francisco. Right. The transition of the renaissance of cocktails is moving itself to the forefront. And hospitality is kind of like the, the fourth degree. Yeah. You have these, these cultures. But Seattle is definitively like grunge. Right. We have like our, our love for our dive bars, so Unicorn will go there later. And so you see the transition of like clothing. Right. It's not bow ties and more like cufflinks or weird things. Right, so right. this idea of pre-prohibition, the drinks and the cultures, the internal efficacy of it's true. Yeah. But the style, we have to move with it. We've gotten the history. Mm -hmm. I feel good about this. Yeah. What, what are you making? Gotcha. We're gonna call it the Gospel's Garden. So it's a really fun, interactive, and it's a plated cocktail. And we'll get to what that means in just a second. We're gonna start with a little bit of Bombay Sapphire. Okay. So our botanical edge, it's a London dry. And this will be a play on a sour. So we're gonna have acidity in there from lemon. Whenever you make a cocktail, keep it balanced. So whenever you have that acid, it have a sugar component to calm it down and make it like dance. Yeah. So that's gonna be our ginger syrup. Yeah. Done. So now this is our base template, good to go. We're gonna do the addition of egg white. Charcoal solution. And then okay. Scrappy's fire water tincture. So it's a great tie back to like why Seattle is represented in this cocktail. Nice. Cool. And so it's gonna be a little interesting when you see the color and the taste. Yeah. The external vision will be a little different than how it tastes. Yeah. And that's how I think Seattle's best understood. Yeah. Gotcha. And so like it's actually, cool to drink charcoal, right? Like, always. Yeah. No, no, it's actually beneficial. So it's almost like a net neutral cocktail, but I'm not a doctor, so you can't quote me. I'm not a scientist, mm. but um, mm. So it won't make you sick, but it won't yeah. make you better. Well, the fun part is like you remember what it is to taste. Got you it. Always smell gas, taste liquid, and feel what is neither. So the charcoal actually adds just a, a textural sensation. Right. Gotcha. There's no volatile aromatic in it. Okay. That's a crazy part. Yeah. So this now we got everything going. Some advanced shit. And the fun part. Oh, the plate. Plated cocktail. And we're good to go. I don't think I've ever seen a plated cocktail actually. Neither have like, I. So this no. is the Naka time. That's the fun part. That's the fun part. Yeah. yeah. Me and Chef, during the first couple weeks before we opened, would put up two cutting boards and look at glassware, him from not a background of cocktails, but also a huge garnish master. And watching him work with it, it inspired me in a lot of ways. So when I saw his food and realized the intensity that he goes into the, the holistic aesthetics, I would say, kind of brought this cocktail to light. So when I think about classic cocktails in the sense of a Manhattan, an old fashioned, these all have garnishes. They're all beautiful. But how far can you push a garnish? So that's what I'm doing here. I've never seen a sour this dark. This is just charcoal Interesting, black. right? So that's me, a light of the deception. Yeah. Mm. And now, so to maintain the idea of yeah. those sours, always top garnish. Nice and simple. All right, my gentlemen. Oh, and this yeah. has been the Gospel's Garden. Make a wish. You have to do some sort of ritual. I, yeah, I feel like. Right just remember to call your family. That's it. So there you go. Okay. That's, that's the go. external part of the garnish. Can I text them? I count. I count. <laughs> it's our generation, baby. Oh my What's god, it that's like? nuts, dude. It's dark and gloomy, like the weather, but then like it's nuanced and actually refreshing at the end, like a sour, which is like how I feel every time I'm meeting someone new out here. You've somehow incorporated that and encompassed that in this drink. It tastes way different 
than it looks. Kind of sour and tart and sweet. We gotta get, get to know us, you know, take a walk. Take a yeah. walk in our shops, come into our bars. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. It's, We're very happy people, small but proud nation. We've yeah. had the drink, but my tummy is rumbling. Yeah, man, what's let's good? Go, let's go visit Mr. Chef Shut and he'll take care of you. To the kitchen. All right, gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. To introduce you to our dear, beloved chef, Shoda. What up? Hey, nice to meet you. Oh, man. Good. 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 Which is also called uh, fish on a plate at Naka. That makes sense. Yeah. Pretty much what we do for garnish is red kelp, a little bit of julienne daikon. We do this all by hand. And then a piece of shiso leaf. Nice. And then we have some bluefin from Spain right here. Oh, Spain, nice. yo. It's the belly cut. It's not the belly belly. It's right next to the belly. So it's fatty, but it's not too fatty. Not full fatty. So it has the nice red meat flavor, but you get the fat content with it. So it's balanced out well. And then it's just fish and a little bit of wasabi on the side. Chef, how does this kind of like speak to what, what's going on in Seattle and how does it tie into to the history there? Seattle itself has a lot of great seafood, but no one's really using it to its full potential. Right. Yet. Did you guys hear that? Shots yes. Fire. So mainly using a lot of local ingredients, showcasing of what we got and bringing our seafood to our full potential. That's awesome. You can tell how yeah. badly I want to eat this right now. I'm just like, yes, what, what, is, what is this? <laughs> I mean, you are allowed to. There's a little bit of lime on there. A little bit of lime. Oh my god. Man, you just let the fish shine. That's what... That's down. That's right, awesome. Yeah. Today we have some super fresh black cod as well. Is that what's going on behind me? It is. It's what's keeping you hot right yeah, man, now. You want me to pull it off? On. Yeah. All right. Chef, I'm really nervous I don't right trust now. the bushman. Sure? I've never been so nervous So you gave that to the Where worst I, what person. Am I doing? You're supposed to drop it? Oh, just drop it. <laughs> oh, not like that. Not like... Oh, God. <laughs> I've already f***ed up once. This is one of our most popular dishes. Rocks underneath, sheeter, and then a simple marinated black cod grill. We let it here and then we infuse smoke in it because scent is one of the biggest uh, senses. So when you get it, it's not just eating food. It's the creation. It's everything. So you get to enjoy the plating. You get to enjoy opening it. Then you get to enjoy the whole aroma. Oh, of the fish there it is. Slow-mo. There's no way it's gonna work. You gotta get in there. Oh, just give me some of that skin right there. Oh my god. The skin is awesome. Holy cow. The fish, what do you what's on it? Anything? We fillet it and then we cure it with kombu salt for one night. Okay. Then we let it air dry with the skin side up for one hour. Okay. And then after that we marinate it for one night with a little bit of sake soy marin. Take it out and then we let it air dry so the aminos go around again and then get the skin side up and then we grill it. So this has been days in the making. Yeah. Dude, you could taste every single one of those days in, in this fish. That's that insane. So, so that's kind of how I look at food is you look at an ingredient and not coating it with anything, but how do you get the full potential out of this Accents. ingredient? Yes. yes. So that was a little taste of Seattle. What we do is uh, the next generation, you'll probably see more of it coming. If you're in Seattle, roll to Capitol Hill. You got to come to Naka. Put your trust in, in these boys, man. Literal boys, they're, they're 26 and 27. <laughs> thank yeah, you, Chef. Thank you. Appreciate it. That was fantastic, man. Dude. It was like we got a crazy drink from Nick, and we got an awesome taste of fall in Seattle with fresh fish. I'm pretty sure that's actually like the best piece of fish I've ever had yeah. in my life. Let Nick, let Chef take care of you guys. All right, let's go.